Today we're out planting trees on the Flight 93 Memorial site, and it's um, it's a it's a really a multifaceted project. We're doing this as a memorial to the to the Flight 93 passengers and the families, but we're also doing it uh, with the Appalachian Regional Reforestation Initiative as a bird habitat project. And this is one of many projects that we work on across the region with. Uh, with the Appalachian Regional Reforestation Initiative, or ARI. Since we're creating initially early successional uh, habitat, we're going to have species that utilize these habitats. And uh, one of the things that we've been focusing on recently are species of concern, like the golden wing warbler, which um, in many cases we're creating the ideal habitat for them because a lot of these sites are on the edge of, of existing forest and we can create some early successional habitat for them so they have the opportunities of both you know mature forest and early successional and then in the long run um, you know we often talk about the tale of two warblers on these sites eventually hopefully we'll reduce forest fragmentation with a mature forest and which should be good habitat for cerulean warblers so that that's sort of a, a neat um, you know, species to look at, you know, different, you know, warbler species because we're helping out uh, several of them through the course of the development of this forest. The uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the National Park Service, and my agency, the Office of Surface Mining, are collaborating on many projects across Appalachia uh, involving surface mines, uh, surface mine reforestation, where the original forest has been um, taken out and then replaced with grasslands. There's something on the order of three quarters to a million acres of grasslands in Appalachia. That's some pretty significant forest fragmentation. Over the past seven or eight years, we've seen uh, 70 to uh, 90 million trees planted uh, on old mine sites to plug the holes in the forest fragmentation that, that uh, exists you know, across Appalachia. This, this type of project has grown significantly over the last three or four years. It went from uh, the, the partnership being able to do you know, 50 acres in a year to 100 acres in a year to this year I think they're doing about 2,500 to 3,000 acres across the Appalachians. So from Alabama to, to Pennsylvania they have projects running. It's been a huge success and, and now we're really trying to build, uh, build the, the science underneath it for the migratory birds and figure out where are the best places from a migratory bird's perspective to, to try to focus in to help create better breeding habitat for some of these species. In Pennsylvania, we're really poised to do um, tremendous benefit for Golden Wing. Uh, we have a, a vast partnership with the Game Commission, uh, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, the Joint Venture, and NRCS through their newly announced Working Lands for Wildlife program. Uh, they have a Golden Wing Warbler as a focus species. Uh, we're pretty well ahead of the curveball in Pennsylvania because of a NIFWIF grant that was written several years ago uh, by Dr. Jeff Larkin at IUP. Um, we actually have co a co-located position in our office and that individual is responsible for going out and finding private landowners that have vast acreages of forest land or shrubland that they want to maintain and, and manage as early successional habitat. Uh, so by enrolling those people into the various programs of the Farm Bill, using the partner's money that we have in the partner's program, combining it with the Game Commission who has uh, a good bit of private funding themselves. Um, we hope to do uh, a lot of uh, really interesting and large projects to benefit Golden Wing in, in the state of Pennsylvania.